Hey, it's Nerf A16 with your kid here on YouTube on the iPhone again doing some Nerf reviews. This is an unboxing part on Zombie Strike. And before I get to that, I just want to get to the side because unfortunately I'm going to cut to my regular camera to film the rest on the blaster part of the review. So here's the back of the box showing off a really not bad, um, uh, instruction manual kind of vibe as the zombie strike line has been knowing to do. Uh, the window is okay. It's everything anyone else would normally do on the sling fire reviews before it. And that's my cat. So with that interruption out of the way, on to the rest of the review. With the plaster fully out and just on an overview perspective, uh, it's actually pretty functional. The lever, like many um, reviewers have said, is pretty hard to, um, to, to, um, like fully uh, primed just to get the, the clip out, but once you do it, it's actually a drop clip. So if you have any problems with the clip release on either side, uh, it's an old school recon dropout. So that's actually not bad. So with that said, on to performance and uh, the actual review. And I'm back with the Nerf sling fire. Uh, I'm gonna switch it to another clip round, but before I do. Hmm. Here's a six. Uh, I think the Nerf line, I think N Strike, just straight up put a six on it. Uh, hopefully, my lighting is seeing it better than what I, hopefully, you are too. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's just get to the functionality on the blaster first. Um, as uh, a pretty big ish kind of mid range blaster for my camera, uh, it's got a good size. It's definitely extremely easy to shoulder just right out of the box um so yeah um there was a lot of choices for me to make this my primary for the zombie strike line um uh, definitely uh crossbow definitely the upcoming now releasing target um repaint of a long shot there's a lot of good prime candidates but for uh, $20 budget, you could go for this or many other blasters that are in the line. I'm um, testing it with a 12. Uh, here's half the half the mag, actually. Um, I'm only going to put a few darts in. Maybe 6, maybe 8. Um, but overall, uh, functionality-wise, it's not bad. It's just reloads are a little bit of a learning curve, but I think after a while I might get it. Um, I don't know about getting crossbow after this, because... It's technically their version of the, the rough cut. And my I had a, a similar okay experience with the smart AR system. Wow, that's actually a really good fit. And um hmm. I don't know, personally I think um you put a 12 mag with this kind of uh, blaster would look pretty good on that as well. However, it's a smart AR. I like clips, I've had clips for a long time, it gives me more longevity, more ammo to get into the fight. And rough cut beats it by easily four darts. Um, so with that said, on to performance. Uh, jam door is pretty good too. And apparently, what I didn't realize from the iPhone shots is that this little part here. Hang on, this little guy. Yeah, him. That's actually a jam clearing button, and that's normally for the um the vortex line. So that's gonna be pretty interesting if I could pull that off whenever I do get a jam, which I haven't so far. Uh, looks to me I got two shots left thanks to the jam door. So I'm gonna do that. The uh, another reason why people are getting this blaster, I guess, is the dual wield options. To do pretty much that, but like one-handed. Uh, do the purpose of this video and my angle here. I can't really show you in its full detail. And I'm out. So yeah, overall, um, this is a pretty good blaster for 20 bucks. Um, would I recommend it? Um, yeah, actually, it's a good power system. Good, um, great stock uh, so far out of the box. Um, if you do tend to mod it, I'm pretty sure the internal servers are complicated due to the um to the lever here, but uh, other than that, um, totally worth it. Um, one last thing, I want to try it out with other clips and stocks. 
I mean, scopes. And surprisingly, the long shot scope, uh, it's a pretty snug fit. I don't know if it'll actually perform or function pretty well. I mean, it's just a clear... I mean, everyone who's normally bitched about scopes is just like, oh, it's a clear thing and that, but... That's kind of it. That's like how you would go. Um, also, you got sling points here and uh, here. Um, for sling points, I'm probably going to keep it on the shoulder, but that's going to be pretty dangly. You probably won't even see it on my shot, my angle here. So, with that said, this is Nerfman16, which you get here on YouTube. And this was a Nerf review of the Slingfire. Later, guys.